Hello, this is the TradeSite Forex Market Preview, an international economic data roadmap for the week beginning technically Sunday the 25th of November and ending Friday the 30th, but this is already Monday the 26th. We had an extra day because we have the long holiday. Let's take a look at the dollar index daily chart. This is the uh, daily chart of the main dollar itself. It hasn't done much for a while, sitting where it was about a month ago. Let's go through the major pairs. The euro dollar, just the inverse of the dollar index rose a little bit last week. The pound had an incredibly flat week last week, just dead flat, nothing at all. Remember, we had the two-day holiday, though, essentially with Thanksgiving and the day after. Aus Aussie dollar didn't do anything either. Euro yen did nothing. We don't need to look at these. It's just so flat and boring. Let's look at the intraday, interweek action. So here it is. This is um, the prior Friday the close, and then you can see the open on Sunday, Monday. High to low for the week was only 140 pips on the euro dollar closed out near the lows of the week. Meanwhile, on the pound, if I put it in the same location, uh, high to low of the week there, also about 140 pips. And look at that, one big move on some news on Thursday. And other than that, it was pretty much a waste of time. So not exactly a very eventful week, and there's nothing on the charts in terms of signals for us to work off of. So let's just get to the economic data that's coming out this week and build a picture of uh, what we're looking at here. So um, we've got... Uh, we already went through the stuff that's on Sunday. You can see it right there. Monday, uh, also basically over at this point, uh, high street lending out of the UK and everything. New Zealand's trade balance just came out. Japan's SPPI. Going into Tuesday, we've got Japan's uh, core CPI, uh, UK's CBI realized sales, HPI, that's the housing price index here in the US at 9 a.m. Tuesday morning, consumer confidence at 10. Uh, we got a financial stability report out of New Zealand tomorrow afternoon. Here in the U.S., we've got the construction work done out of Australia. Bank stress test results out of the U.K. come out on Wednesday. Credit Suisse economic expectations at 4 a.m. Eastern time on Wednesday. Money supply and private loans out of Europe. German 10-year bond auction and consumer climate. Preliminary GDP out of the U.S. This is the second look at the third quarter GDP, so it's not as important as that advanced look we already got. Um, currently expecting about a 3.6 number there. Goods trade balance. Preliminary GDP price index, preliminary wholesale inventories, new home sales out of the U.S. and Richmond Manufacturing Index at 10 a.m. on Wednesday, crude oil inventories at 10.30, the Fed Chair speaks, retail sales out of Japan, business confidence out of New Zealand, new home sales out of Australia, private capital expenditure out of Australia, GDP out of Switzerland, German preliminary CPI, French consumer spending, and French preliminary GDP, flash, Spanish flash CPI, German unemployment change, net lending to individuals out of the UK, along with money supply and mortgage approvals, Italian 10-year bond auction, current account out of Canada at 8.30 on Thursday, that's 8.30 in the morning here in the U.S., core PC price index, along with personal income and spending, and the weekly initial claims and unemployment claims all at the same time, pending home sales at 10, natty gas at 10.30, the minutes from the last Fed meeting get released at 2 p.m., Building consents out of New Zealand that night, Tokyo Core CPI and unemployment rate, preliminary industrial production, UK's consumer confidence, private sector credit out of Australia, manufacturing PMI out of China, consumer confidence out of Japan, along with housing starts, uh, German import prices and retail sales, UK's nationwide housing price index. Uh, we've got CPI flash estimate out of Europe, along with the unemployment rate out of Europe, GDP, IMPI, and P IPPI out of Canada, and then Chicago PMI here in the U.S. Charts, as usual, brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple of weeks. Have a great trade.